So I've got another project here. I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been super busy around the property over winter time. But I run across this problem of my backhoe leaking way too much. It's an older backhoe, 1968 case, 580 CK. Got to the point where I figured I better start rebuilding parts. Problem with 1968 is case doesn't supply parts for it anymore and case has a lot of parts that are proprietary to case. So parts are really hard to get when they're older like my backhoe. This right here is the valve body to the hoe attachment on the back, the big arm that digs holes. It's got, I don't know, five, six small leaks that just drip. It makes it drip kind of constantly, like I drip every few seconds, whether it's running or not. I'm gonna videotape this in case anybody else wants to learn how to rebuild a valve body on a backhoe or any hydraulic piece of equipment, or you might have a 1968 case backhoe or something similar, and you're wondering how it's done. I already got some seals ordered. I did take one of these cylinders apart. I found the seals in it, and then I kind of slid it back together to make sure it all stayed pretty, uh, well, dust and dirt free. I got seals ordered from a place in San Jose that makes about any seal for anything, any O-ring. I know they make any O-ring. They might be specific to O-rings. I'll put a link in the description and I'll hopefully leave a link in the, in the comment. I'll pin a comment to the top with a link to their website or their company. So if you're looking for an O-ring, regardless of what it's for, they make it. Let's get one of these little cups taken off and get into it. So this has six valve bodies right right across there these are the valves that direct hydraulic fluid to each individual cylinder to make that big arm the hoe dig and put the outriggers out all that each valve or each valve body has this cup on the bottom this is actually the bottom of the unit these come out out the back and the top is up here so it's the bottom take these two screws out they're just diagonally from each other. And take this and just pull on it. This comes right out. And you want to make sure that you don't scratch this surface. Pull it as straight out as you can. And only take one of these apart at a time. This valve is lapped to this body. So if you take this valve out and put it in here, it may not seal. So it's very important from what I've been told to make sure that this valve stays with that body. So I only do one valve at a time. Take this, set it down here where it won't fall. So you've got a little O-ring in here, a black O-ring. On this side, this metal piece pops out. Make sure and keep that nice and clean and then your O-ring comes out, slides right out. This O-ring is pretty easy to put in. This is a special O-ring. It's a, what they call an X O-ring. It's got grooves in all four sides. That's supposed to help seal better than a regular O-ring. There's another one of these on the other side. This side, the top piece doesn't come out, so the O-ring sits in a groove. It's the same O-ring. Get your hook tool in there and try not to scratch the metal. Just Pry the O-ring out. Again, it's the same O-ring, just an X-ring, same size as the other side.
So I got my brand new X-ring. I always put a little bit of fluid on them just to make sure uh, they slide into place real nice. And I've always heard that lubrication is better than no lubrication. The tricky part is getting this thing in that groove without it popping all the way in the side so inside there. Take your time. Now after you pop that O-ring in there, you want to look at it and make sure it's it's not twisted inside the, the groove there. There we go. Take your bad O-ring, put it somewhere else. This is our old O-ring. Put that somewhere else. Grab a new O-ring. What I do with this O-ring, so what I do with this O-ring and the metal sleeve, put the metal sleeve on first, that the furthest out. Again, being very careful not to scratch your surfaces. And then put your O-ring on. So you've got your metal ring and your O-ring right there, and they're going to seat right down in here. Line this up. And just be real nice putting it back in. You're going to get to a point where you hit that other O-ring. It's going to get a little tougher. go. Push it in. Everything's seated. Nothing came out the other side. Take your cup. Now, I thought these cups were there to protect anything in here, like if any liquid, liquid came out, started leaking, the cup would catch it, but there's a hole in the cup, in the bottom, a little hole down there. So this cup isn't really there to, to hold liquid. So this seal around here doesn't matter. Um, but you want to get it as clean as you can anyways. So clean it up a little bit and put it back in place. So in this particular valve body, you've got three different O-rings. The bottom one and the top one are the same. This one right here that seals this piece to the valve body is the second type of O-ring, second size. And the third one is right here on this bigger hose. It's going to have a bigger O-ring in there. Now on both of mine, the bigger ones weren't leaking at all, so I didn't bother taking those apart. If you don't take it apart, 
less chance of it leaking. I did, however, since some of these were leaking, I took, these, took one of these off, measured it, and ordered more O-rings for all of these right here. So I'm gonna put all those O-rings in after I'm done with all these. So if you happen to need an O-ring and you call the company I have linked in the description, the company I went through, and free plug for them. They didn't give me any, uh, any kind of discount on these O-rings. They don't even know that I make videos on YouTube. I just happened to come across their company looking for any place to get me an O-ring because I was having a really hard time. So if you need an O-ring, go through this company or whatever other company. They're probably going to ask you for the inside diameter of your O-ring the thickness of your O-ring, and the outside diameter. That's gonna give them a really good idea. If you've got something like this, it's really old. This O-ring has probably been in this valve body since 1968, day one. It's kind of got a taper on one side, it's flat on the inside. I gave them the measurements of the thickness, two different directions, and they gave me an O-ring that they're saying has is, is got to be the one that fits in there but it's still circular, not tapered down like this one from being smashed in a little spot for who knows how many years that is. I don't feel like doing quick math. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. If you're looking to rebuild one of these and didn't know where to start or have this exact one and want to rebuild it, there's not a whole lot to this valve body. If you'd like to support the channel, we have a Patreon link in the description. We also have an Amazon affiliate link. The Amazon affiliate link won't cost you a penny, but it gives us a slim portion of a penny when you place an order. So it's a way you can support our channel without costing you anything. Another way you can support our channel is by watching another video or clicking on an ad when an ad pops up. Thanks for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Until next time, go make something.